Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another video in the segment of how to feed a family of four for under $10. And today we're going to be making turkey salad. Turkey salad is going to be a spin on the traditional chicken salad. But instead of going out and purchasing all the things to make the turkey salad, we're going to just simply clean out our cabinets, loosen up a lot of the things that we happen to have lying around, which is again how you are going to continue to make your food for your entire family very affordable and approachable. So sit back. Hit that subscribe button and enjoy the video. All right, so on the counter tonight, we have mayonnaise, which is the one thing that really needs to stay true to you making this turkey or chicken salad that you're gonna be making. Everything else is completely interchangeable with whatever you have lying around. We're gonna take a little bit of onion, chop it up, and a little bit of garlic with it, just chop it up really fine, and saute it until translucent in a pan over here in just a moment. We've got roasted almonds, we're gonna chop those up. We've got an apple, we're gonna dice that up and put it in there. Got some raisins a little bit of celery, a carrot, and some blueberries that need used up. So I'm gonna go and get these things ready and see you in a second. See here, I just have celery finely chopped up, diced. I got um, carrot diced up. Got the almonds that are roasted, uh, lightly salted, and chopped up. Got the raisins. So obviously we didn't do anything to those. They're just kind of dumped in there. And we got the blueberries over there just, you know, cleaned up. On the side, we have the onions and garlic that's just been sweated down. They start to take a little bit of color and that's perfectly fine, but mainly we just wanna make sure that they're cooked until they're tender so that they're not sharp or have any really dominant flavors as much as they just have the onion uh, sweetness and the garlic depth in there. I did not dice the apple yet and I'm just gonna wait to do that at the last second. And I realized that I didn't show you the turkey earlier and that's cause it's not quite ready yet. We're gonna let it cool down a little bit and then I'll show you that before I put it in. But for now, it's okay if we just go ahead and dice the apple and get it going. Now that the apple's already chopped up, I'm gonna hurry up and go ahead and coat everything with mayonnaise. And as I mentioned, the turkey is not quite ready yet and that's not gonna be a big deal. It's not a problem at all because we can just add it in later. But I wanna hurry up and make sure that I get everything coated in mayonnaise so that the apple doesn't take on the oxidization. Coated in the mayonnaise, we're gonna go ahead and set it aside in the refrigerator to wait for the turkey. Once the turkey comes out, we'll take a look. And all right guys, so we're back. We have the salad. It's been sitting in the refrigerator, just hanging out. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a touch extra mayonnaise because now that we have the turkey in, we're gonna have more stuff to coat. So, I'm also gonna give it a dash of celery salt here. Pretty healthy amount because we haven't actually put any salt in here. There's a lot of fat and mayonnaise. So we're just gonna coat it and then stir it together and see what it looks like. The goal here is just to have everything coated so it's nice and creamy. and just work it into itself. Make sure everything is nice and even because you don't want to get like a clob of mayonnaise in there. All right guys, and there you have it. Turkey salad. All right guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and comment below and let me know what you put in your turkey salad.